Hey guys, Trevor here from Hop Creative. Uh, it's been a while since I posted one of these, but uh, I'm going to try to get back on top of that. Um, today I want to show you a little bit about uh, images and photos and how uh, that works in Squarespace. Uh, it is pretty easy to add an image, but um, what I get questions about a lot uh, are how to move a photo around. For instance, have it uh, text float around a photo, or have a photo in a column next to a text block, or even have photos side by side. Um, so I just want to show you that today because it's actually pretty easy to do once you know how the system works and uh, hopefully that will clear things up for everyone. Let's, uh, let's take a look. I have the template fired up here. It's just a basic template and um, to add a photo as you probably know, um, what you do is you hover your mouse over one of these uh, plus buttons. Really they're just uh, intersection points where you can click and you can do a whole, whole slew of dif different things really. But uh, what I want to do is add a photo. So if I click on image. It's going to pop up a box and uh, right now I have a photo on my desktop and I can drag it in here, um, let it load up, and I can click save. So that's, that's pretty easy. Um, but the questions I get the most are how, how do I move this around, how do I lay, lay it out in a way um, that I want to design my page. So if I just take a look at this, um, scroll down the photos just down a little bit because of the template. So here's the photo I put in there. but Let's just say you want to put the, the photos next to each other. So right now they're full width, um, and I'll show you how to do that. So in the back end, if you click and hold on anything, um, so in this case a photo, you can actually move it around. And if you drag it down um, the page, you can see now it's asking, uh, there's a line, a black line, it's kind of asking me, do you want to drop this here? So if I say yes, um, I just positioned it closer and it's still full width, but if you want to move it into a column, you can drag it and put it right next to the photo. Now, there's different kinds of ways to do this. So, right now there's a short line, and if I go closer to the edge, it goes full line. So, what the full line does is actually puts it in a column on the page, so it splits the page in two. So, if I take a look, now you see this photo I dropped in has the whole column to itself. There's obviously all the space here. It doesn't look very good, um, but you get the ideas that I can... I can easily move these photos around and position them wherever I want to. But let's say I want to put that photo side by side with the other photo. What you do is you click, hold, drag to the photo, and you move your mouse just in towards the center of the, the photo you want it next to, and you can see this line will start to move around. So basically the black line now is at the top, meaning it will go above. But right here, if I place it here and let it go, it will put the photo side by side. So if I click Save, and then click view. You see now it looks much better. So it works the same way as if you wanted to add another photo block and you wanted to have, let's say, three photos next to each other. Um, you click plus, and you can click the plus anywhere on the page. It doesn't have to be next to it. You can click image, or you can also click and hold this thing, this icon, and drag it, let's say here. And in this case, Let's put the same photo in because I don't have another one loaded up, but I think you'll, you'll get the idea. And I can click save. Now if I go to view the page, I have three photos side by side. So hopefully that gives you an idea on how you can use the, the layout engine. Um, it works the exact same way for anything. So if it's text blocks, you want to have text blocks side by side, photo blocks, video blocks. Um, it all uses uh, the, same, the same layout engine. Um, the indicators with the dark lines, they will show up no matter what kind of a widget you're trying to add in Squarespace. Um, and it's actually pretty easy to use. I mean, you can't really break anything. Um, you can see now I have a photo on top and two on the bottom. If you want it on the side, you can let it go. Um, if you want to, say, wrap it, if I let this go, now you can see that the text is going to float around the photo. If I don't want it to do that, I can put it in a column. And now it has its own space below it. Um, what's kind of neat about the column is if I put it in here, I can move my mouse right to the corner and uh, handlebars show up. And I can click and move this and make it bigger or smaller. Um, so this is really a really handy tool. And this won't look good. I'll show you what, uh, you know, what, what this would look like on the home page here, the test page. But um, well, it doesn't look terrible. But I think you get the idea. Um, hopefully that helps and um, give it a shot.
leave me a comment if you have any questions. Uh, hope you figure it out.